Hey, so what's up guys, Matt here with Dry Tech, and today we'll be continuing a series of element cases. So this case right here, the Recon series for the iPhone 10, is actually the next in line from the previous video which I made, which is the Ref. The Ref has been my favorite case. Actually, I've shifted from the Formula case to the Ref case because the Ref case actually enhanced my grip of the phone. So I think that case not only serves its purpose with drop protection but also in terms of handling. So I think that's something that I really like. But before we begin this video, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, hit the subscribe button and enable notifications so you can get notified of my latest content. And I also want to give a big shout out to Element Case for sending me this case to review as well as the couple of others which I will be reviewing in a couple of weeks. Okay, so let's talk about the Recon series. This case comes in three colors. Black, Coyote which you see right here as well as white which is kind of like the iPhone 10 kind of white which is slightly silverish as well I can see from the pictures because I don't have that with me currently this case also retails for 168 ringgit which is not too expensive I would say but also not on the cheaper side because if you're looking for a decent drop protection you should go with a ref but if you're looking for slightly more style and slightly unique in terms of design, you should go with the Recon. So without further ado, let's crack right into this box and see how this case fits on my iPhone. Alright guys, so we're back. So right here I have my iPhone 10 in the case I reviewed before this, which is the RAF case. And I've been using this for quite a while now and actually I think this case handles very well and I do not have the feeling that I'm going to drop my device so I think this case is a pretty good case so you can see the case which I'm using right here so let's take a look at the box itself so you can see element case branding on the top recon and fits the new iPhone which is the iPhone 10 and you can see right here the features of the case which is fast tap actually these buttons do work pretty flawlessly and I think yeah fast tap yeah, it's just a marketing fluff, but it works very well in general. Okay, moving on, you can see Sure Grip, which is something I will highlight later on through this video. And Shock Pad. And last but not least is Drop Shop Corners, which is similar to the Ref as well. Okay, so let's crack into this box and see what else comes with the case. So flipping it open, very nice presentation right here. Simple. And nice actually it gets the job done so you can see right here built for trail you can pause there and read it for yourself the theme of this case is basically very similar to their previous black ops cases and it keeps a very very tactical military style design to the whole case of course I have this in the green color which is the coyote color not really green it's like a faded green I should say more towards a yellowish tint you can see the case right here. So that's all you get in the box, nothing else. Very simple packaging. I mean, this is pretty straightforward. It's just a case which you snap onto your phone. So, okay, let's take a close look at the case. So you can see Element Case logo right here. And these are the drop shock pads, which feel pretty soft and nice actually. So when you do drop your phone like this on the back, it will actually protect and disperse off shock. So it's a neat touch right there. You can see more element case branding right here. The overall look and feel actually it feels really comfortable. I really enjoy holding on to it, except I wish it wasn't this color because it's not really my favorite color. I would have used it if it was black. But anyway, that's what we have right here. Okay, so let's take a look at the sides. You can see this is where the ridges of where you naturally place your fingers. You can see right here, very nice and comfortable. Even right here, if you are left-handed, you can actually even grip this with no problems at all. So you can see the inner layer of the case where it's going to protect your phone. Take a look at the insides. You can see the buttons nicely cut out and they're not going to scratch your phone. I initially was worried that they would scratch the stainless steel frame of the iPhone 10 because you know that scratches up pretty fast. But for my testing, they don't. Okay, so that's a good thing right there. You can see right here, overall insides of the case see pretty nice okay so let's slap the iphone right here so let me take it out from the ref case which is super simple to take off take it off and that's it i put that to the side okay so let's slap this case on butted in first as usual so you can see me snapping it on my phone just powered on 
You see it's snapping it on, no problems at all. Very simple to put in, very simple install. And the phone feels really, really solid in this case. I really like the feel of this. Feels really good in the hands. Okay, so let's go through the cutouts. So you can see on the left side, you have a nice cutout for your mute and ring switch as well as nice tactile volume buttons. Okay, you can see the grip again. And the bottom, you can see precise cutouts for your microphone, speaker, as well as your lightning port. No problems right there. You can see on the right side, same grip, textured grip as well. And also, nice clickable, very tactile power button. And on the top, you can see there's like cutouts on the top. Of course, this might gather dust in the long run, but it actually helps disperse off the shock. So I think that's a very neat touch. Okay, let's take a look at the back now. You can see there's a very generous cutout on the back. I actually have a lens protector right here and also the lens ring, but you can see there's even more than ample space for that. You can actually customize your lens ring and so that you will go well with this case. Why not? Okay, so you can see very nice grip. Overall, impressive case, I should say. Uh, even though it's not really something I would be using because of the color, but if you do get it in other colors, I think it will be very nice as a daily case. It's not too expensive compared to a Rev case, but a Rev gives you more of a generic design as compared to the Recon I have right here. So overall, I would really recommend this case. I think this case is uh, really neat for the price. If you're thinking of getting the Rev case, I would suggest getting a Recon instead because, I mean, you get the same amount of drop protection at the same time, you get a very unique design. I mean, like, iPhones these days, everyone's using them. But if you have a case which is unique, you will actually stand out of the crowd. If you if you do like that, I would suggest going with this case. It won't break the bank. It's only a, a little above the RAF case. So I think this case is a go right here. But of course, if you do like this color, you can get it in this color as well. I'm not a fan of this color personally. But anyway, I was given this color to actually review. So anyway, I just test it out. It's more important, it's not really the color. It's actually the fitting of the case and the how tactile the buttons feel as well as the grip because that's what we really need on the daily. So anyway, that wraps up this review. If you do like this case, I'll link it in the description below. You can purchase it from there. For Malaysian link as well as for international, I'll be linking both of the links below. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you already have this case or have tried it before and let me know your thoughts about this case in the comments below. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.